I'm going to share with you a super fun and easy hack that you can do in the outdoors using a hummingbird feeder. I got this hummingbird feeder from Dollar Tree. You'll have to check out your store to see if they still have them. There are other options such as these ones that I found on Amazon.ca as well as .com. You want to have one that's got a nice vessel. You do not want to use this traditional size styles. You want to use one that can be taken apart where there's not the large vessel on the top. This one has that, so I'm going to remove it. I only need the bottom portion. Now, as you can see, there is a hole on the top of mine. So I am going to have to plug that off. But you can see how this one's removable so you can clean it really well. And this hole, I'm going to plug it off using a water bottle cap. You want to just find something that can plug that off so the wasps don't get in. Okay, so I'm going to wash this up. I want to just use some soap and just a little bit and I'm just going to give this a good cleaning and I'm going to rinse this off really, really well. I'm also going to be using some white vinegar to clean this up as well. Now this is optional. I decided that I was going to just use some of the vinegar just to rinse off any of the soap residue that may be behind. This again is just optional. I'm going to give that a really, really good rinse and I'm going to just set this aside and allow it to dry. Now for my sugar and water solution, I'm adding two cups of filtered water. Again, my water is hard and there's chlorine in it and I wanted that to be removed. I'm just gonna put that into my pot along with half a cup of sugar and I'm going to be bringing that to a boil. You can see it does take a little while to dissolve but once it gets warmed up, you can see how nicely the sugar is all dissolving. You wanna make sure you use white sugar. It is very important. I've got links down below in the description box as well as pinned at the top of the comment feed to, to show you uh, all the websites that recommend this solution. So now I'm just have allowed it to cool down and I'm going to fill up my vessel and we're going to take it outside and have so much fun. I cannot wait for you all to see the action. So this is my daughter. You can see she's all bundled up and she is holding so still and she's cupped the hummingbird feeder in her hands. Now watch and listen. It's super important to stay nice and still. And this way here, it'll allow more hummingbirds to come and it'll get them used to you as well. Now there are some pre-made handheld hummingbird feeders out there, but this one is so fun because there's multiple flowers to attract multiple hummingbirds. I just wanted to quickly say to how important it is to keep your hummingbird feeder really clean. We clean ours on a regular basis. Apparently there is a mold that can, or fungus that can grow in the liquid and it can make the hummingbirds really sick. So we clean ours regularly. <laughs> 
This easy hack was so much fun for my daughter. In fact, she was going out daily and you can see how comfortable the hummingbirds became. And I'm telling you, it was just so amazing. And again, it was just such a simple DIY hack. I have more nature inspired outdoor decor ideas for you right here. I hope you found this entertaining and a lot of fun and to see how easy it is to transform something as simple as this. Thank you all so much for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.